So there are uh, th uh, this points out to a like a long-standing problem of Cypress, uh, where you, where Cypress were, was focused on you testing your application and didn't really concern the the third-party apps. Like uh, basically, the main difference between Cypress and maybe tools like Selenium is that Cypress was built for you to test your application. Whether when it's when it's a third-party server, this is not something that you own and uh, and shouldn't really be automating. But of course, if you have a third-party auth app, you need to log in somehow. So there are multiple ways of how you can do that. You can either try to do uh, do the login programmatically, right? That was kind of a go-to solution for uh, for a couple of um, probably years even. And uh, and there are very, very good examples of that in the Cypress documentation. As I have shown in my presentation, uh, with CY request, you can access basically anywhere. So if you can use CY request to do the third-party login, uh, then, then you are good to go. Another thing that was, uh, that was really released with Cypress version 12 is that Cypress has now enabled accessing multiple uh, multiple origins. This was not a, not a limitation that was there on purpose. It was actually by design. And uh, it, uh, it needed quite a lot of effort to make it uh, make it right and make it uh, make it well. And uh, it's now out there in uh, in version 12. So you can deal with the third party uh, login just uh, uh, quite quite easily. Uh, one thing I would point out is that the CY origin, so that's the name of the command which al allows you to go to the third-party server, is uh, closely coupled with another command that's called CY session. So if you have like a Google login or Okta or something like that, and you want to log in, if you log in in every of your, say, 100 tests, they're not going to run because you're going to uh, hit the rate limit and CAPTCHA will turn on, etc. With CY session, what you can do, you can sort of uh, take a snapshot of the state of the browser when it was logged in, and you can use that snapshot in all of your tests. So in, uh, in the eyes of the third-party auth server, you just do a single login and then use that login for all your tests, which makes it really, really effective because you really don't want to log in before every of your tests because you're going to hit that rate limit. Uh, 